Hello everyone! Today we are starting Unit 6, Studying the Past. History is the study of the past. Historians are the people who study the past. Historical sources help us find out information about the past. We have four types of sources. Oral sources, written sources, physical sources and visual sources. Let's go with the first group. Oral sources. Oral sources are the information people share with others about their own experience. In this first picture, we can see a man giving a speech to an audience, to a public. He's sharing his knowledge. In this second picture, we can see a grandma with her grandchildren and she's telling them stories. We can also learn from the traditions. Next group are the written sources. These are texts or stories about people or places or events that happened in the past. So from these old texts, we can read them and we can learn a lot about the past. The next group are the physical sources. These are objects or buildings or artifacts that were made and used in the past. The professionals that search for these places or artifacts are the archaeologists. In the first picture, we can see Roman ruins and we can learn a lot about how the Romans lived. All these artifacts in the second picture can be seen in a museum. And just by looking at them, we can guess how these ancient humans live their lives. Finally, we have visual sources. These are photos or pictures or mosaics from which we can learn about how the past was. In this first picture, in these prehistoric paintings, we can see a group of men hunting animals. Here in the middle, we have a Roman mosaic. We can see how they, how they dressed, or how they played, or just different things they did. In the last picture, we can see a portrait of King Edward. So now we know how King Edward looked like. And that's it for today. I hope you all understood the different types of historical sources. Goodbye.